Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today we're going to do the inside of Valentine's pocket file number 04. I'm going to show you how to make these out of cardboard. So let's begin. These we're going to paint. So I need something to put them on so we don't get paint on my nice mat. But I wanted to show you. I was trying to cut up. I got these scissors. Got those ones. These scissors. Better office products. Okay, and I was trying to cut up. It worked. Cutting up to make a design, but I couldn't go any further. As you can see, it won't cut good. Okay. So I'm hoping it's going to let me cut across. Hopefully. I gotta fill that off because it won't cut. So at least we got a design. I just swerved in and out on this side. I'm gonna put you here, that way I know you can see and I'll have to keep looking. Okay, so we're gonna cut across the top. And I'm gonna try, let's try this design. And then I'm gonna have to keep going up. I don't know if this is gonna work. It worked on a demo. See, it worked on a demo because I did a demo with both those different designs and it worked, but I don't know. Don't seem to be working. I'm just gonna go with this one, I think. I don't know what's going on. There we go. Well, at least we're getting some kind of unique design, right? Try this again. And then I'm gonna go there again. I may have to use that one. The scissors are not very sharp. They're only sharp down at the bottom. There. At least we got some kind of design. I got a mess. All right, so we got some kind of design going on. I'm doing two, so I can have one for some other Valentine pocket file in a different cover that I'm doing. Okay, I don't know which one I'm gonna use, but this is the plan. I'm gonna use rose gold on here. Metallic rose gold. You know what I wanted to do? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna use black. I got a thought and I wanted to try it. I just want to. You're making a mess. <laughs> I'm making a mess, beautiful beings. And I forgot to tell you, I cut the heart. Apparently you can see it, but I want to tell you. And I was using my good multi-purpose black. So I got the one that I put water in it because I'm just going to cover it up. So it's like, why are you using your good black? Just to cover it up, but that's where I'm at. And I'm making a mess. And I want to make sure I get down in the grooves. Okay. Hide as much cardboard as I can. Hey beautiful beings. I painted the heart that I cut out too black. Okay. And of course I used my heart puncher. We're gonna color this rose gold. See what it looks like. And this is the effect I wanted. Just the black to show through a little bit. Hopefully you can see that without a glare. And that was rose gold. And it's metallic. 
I don't know how these would show up on this, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. These are just regular acrylic paint, okay? I'm gonna do the darker color first. I'm gonna let these dry, then I'm gonna put some pink polish on this one. Okay, beautiful being, sorry about that. I just edited the video because I realized <laughs> that I left a number I wrote down because somebody called and left me a number and then I just realized that, you know, I wrote down on a piece of paper that was gonna be filmed. <laughs> no big deal, no big deal. All I was doing was painting. Okay, put pink polish on here, just here and there. I really like how the heart turned out. <laughs> I think that's good like that. I think I need a saying over here. Hey beautiful beings. I'm trying to make some shelves. <laughs> okay. I got, this is cardboard. Okay. I just cut it out like a shape of a shelf. I got a little one, a little shelf, and a big shelf, okay? And if you like the other side, that'd make a pretty shelf too. Just go in it with a different color or just leave it that way. Okay, but what I did is I took burnt lumber, folk art, and I just went around and all the way around. And then I drew a line here and a line there, okay? I did that on both of them. Now I have Pueblo, okay? And I want to keep some of the color of the cardboard, so I'm just going to, and if I don't like this, I'll go over it with another color. I kind of just want to real lightly spread that in there. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I'm just trying it out. you got to experiment with paint. I, I got nutmeg here and it doesn't want to open the other way, so we're gonna try it this way. I'm gonna just dab some up in the corner on the paper, and then take some of that, and then put it over, because it's lighter, okay? So those colors will show through. All right, I got brown oxide. And I think they look like shells now. I think they do, beautiful beings. I still got some here of the brown. I'm just gonna work that in here. Just here and there. Just a little bit. And there we go. I kind of like the dark stuff better. Right. Hey. And there's our shelves. Okay, beautiful beings. We've got our shelf. It's going to go right here. So I'm going to glue it down. And I got these little mason jars. From Dollar Tree. Just put a little glue on there. And I want it right in the middle. Like that. Then we have these mason jars. They're from Crafter Square. Okay, I got two kinds. And we're gonna use them for our shelf. Okay. I got some ribbon here. All I did was put it around. It's it's a half piece of cut ribbon. I just cut it in half. Then I put some. I went around it with lighter. 
I want this so you can still see the word love. See that? I need some glue to hold the other piece. There. That's all we're gonna do to this one. Too much glue. And I'm gonna set something on that till it dries. I got another one, burlap, and I have red burlap. I just pulled a string of this off. The other one. I hit this one backwards. I can see that. Of course, the burlap's fraying. Just wrapped it around the way I want. I need to pull it too. Let's come down. On the right, just a little bit like that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there, and then, then just set something on top of it until it dries. It's moving on me. you can read that. It says, enjoy life. Okay. We're just going to leave it like that. Then I have this one with the twine, the red twine. We're going to try to get the right side. This says, good times, I think. Nope, good vibes. Okay. Good vibes. And, whoops. Oh. That's glue. gluing nicely. I don't need that on there. Sit that over there. Okay, this one says good vibes, and I'm, that's the front. I'm just gonna put a little glue like that. And I'm gonna push this one over and hold it with my with my thumb. Wrap this around a couple times. And bring that in. And I'm probably gonna need a little bit more glue. Right there. And it, uh, no, just wanna make sure I'm not getting anything on my pocket file. Right there. Put that down like that. And I'm gonna try to push them together. It needs to come up more. Then I'm gonna lay something on this. Set that aside to dry. Then we got our last one, beautiful bangs. <laughs> All right, got this one. Put a little bit of glue just on the front of it. And this one says, always in my heart. Okay, see that? Always in my heart. They're hard to read. The writing is so so tiny. All right, I'm gonna put this one around this way. Let me get it right. That one like that. So it gathers over here. That. That needs to go up. And I need to wipe off the glue. And that one's gonna look like that, okay? And when these are dry, I'll be back and we'll put them on our shelf. Okay, beautiful beings, they're all dry and now we're going to glue them down.
then when you're dry, you can't see the words because of the glue. But when we're dry, I'll give you a close up. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put up here. Okay, beautiful beings. We are gonna attempt to make curtains. Okay, I'm gonna show you here. I took this, I didn't bend this. I just took this piece of cardboard and then I went like that so I know where the middle is, okay? I'm gonna take this piece of lace and I'm gonna want it like that, okay? I wanna make sure it's in the middle and underneath, I'm softly, softly just gonna take the pencil and follow the lace, okay? Like that, a little lower, maybe, like that, okay, like that, but it wasn't working out, so I figured, or I can just cut this out and then put that over there. Hmm, let's do that. that and go over this with the pencil then we're gonna have to try to figure out how to line up the lace never done this before <laughs> first time with you beautiful beings but I wanted a window or at least curtains to make it look like there's a window Try this again. Like that like that. Which end has a, and then it's still not gonna match up. So let's try this. There we go. And then we'll just put something there. It's perfect. Okay. Perfect, beautiful beings. I'm gonna trim this off. Now I'm going to paint this white to hide the, the lines that I did with a pencil that wasn't working out. Okay, Because the eraser just isn't doing it. So I'm going to paint this and I'll be back. Okay, I went around this with winter white satin multi-surface folk art white paint. Okay, I just went in there. Now we're going to glue this down here and I'm gonna make sure they're going the right way glue this down here some of this lace is hard to tell yeah that's right right correct <laughs> I'm gonna glue that down Do one side at a time Time to fill the glue again. Swirls. I should have put something down so I don't get glue on my mat. Forgot. I kind of want, you know, the the bunching of the curtain too. Some curtains bunch. Ah. 
Ow, there's that needle. <laughs> I just stabbed myself with a needle. Where's it at? It's buried in here. I was looking for this. <laughs> I had to put a different one on. It doesn't fit it, but it makes it so it don't dry out, kinda. But I'm glad I found it, but not like that. Nobody likes to be stabbed with a needle. All right. <laughs> but we're gonna have to fill that in with the scrap. So I'm going to, I don't know. See, I don't know if I should do this at the bottom. Like push that in. I'm thinking probably, make it look like curtains. So I'm gonna need more glue over here. That looks good. Kinda. <laughs> Kinda. Can we cover it up a little bit? Make it look like it's all apart. I think I need to wrinkle that up. I don't want it to look like a separate curtain. The plan is I gotta cut this. I can't forget that goes this way. And this is gonna go across the top. Right. And then that's gonna go across here. Like that. Probably wrap it around. So let's do that. There's a cat that's living under my house. And I think it's a stray because I don't recognize them. I usually have a white and a black cat running around. And then a black cat with just white on his chest running around. This cat is gray and brown and white. And he gets he or she goes under the house, then just starts meowing. <laughs> Especially when it's cold, but like last, well, last night wasn't as cold as it's usually been. And it just, it sounds like, it's like right in the house. I kid you not. And he starts about, I don't know, midnight, and then I'll go upstairs. But if you're sitting in the front room, or he's under the house, it sounds like he's right in the house. And it's like, dude, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> you know? All right, we're going to put that there. But I just heard him. He's starting already. And it's only, I can't even see the clock. I think it's only 8 something, 8.30. What's going on? You can't be in heat, right? <laughs> she or he or whatever. I just, the glue, the glue I, I'm leaving it on the side so it'll come out and, you know, I've seen do that before. <laughs> and it's goosing all over the table. All right, how do you like our curtains? Do you like our curtains, beautiful beings? And that is going to be a pocket. Okay? So I'm going to let this glue dry and I'm going to. I gotta clean my hands, I got dried up glue on them. So this is the plan. 
Make sure you can see everything from top to bottom. I can't see the top. All right. So anyway, we have another windowsill. Remember we did the windowsill? I'll just make sure you see the parts I'm doing. I'm gonna put some glue on the windowsill. Then I'm just gonna, I don't even know if I should, because I want this to be a little pocket. <laughs> I want it to be a little pocket, beautiful beans. I do. So we're gonna put this right here, just above the bottom a little bit. It's gonna go right there. But I want this down in there. I want to put something in her teacup. Stick that there. I don't know if that's gonna work, but let's stick that there. Okay. I don't know what that's gonna do. <laughs> I just wanna put that there so that can be a tuck. Right, that's right where I want it. I think it's straight. Can't tell because this side's not going down. Right, I got a clock here. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the other glue. I think I'm gonna use the other glue, beautiful beings. Yeah, our window is like really big. <laughs> this is gonna be a backdrop. I'm just putting that there to hold it down. I want to show you some die cuts when I remember, okay? Where's the, and that's the noon or the 12. They're numeral numbers. And that's the back, okay? All right, and here's the other die cut for this lantern. I cut out cardboard, and then I cut out a scrap piece of what we used in our pocket files, and then I glued them together, okay? And that, it's gonna go down here. I'm gonna have to move this up. I'm sorry, whipping you all over the place. And this is just gonna lay flat. But now I don't know, that curtain's so big, and I had it all figured out. <laughs> I did, beautiful beings. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. I should have lowered it down now. I should have put it lower to the bottom, I think. Curtain's covering the lantern. Is that okay? Or should I just move this down? But is it gonna rip the paper? Yep. So we can't do that. It's gonna rip the paper. So my lantern is gonna have to go behind the curtain. That's all there is to it. Learn from me, beautiful beings. I didn't expect this to be that big because see it's extra longer, but it's all right. It'll work. It's okay. It's okay. Is this even going across? It's gonna have to be because it's already gluing down. And this curtain is probably gonna hide this, but it's okay. I guess the curtain's just a little longer. in the kitchen window, <laughs> right? <clears throat> and then that's gonna get glued there. But, I don't know what, just to glue the top maybe. And it doesn't look as good, but it's all right, because the lantern's just behind the kitchen window. I'm gonna have to clean my hands. All right, beautiful beings. I'm just gonna glue the top down, okay? All I'm gonna, and this is still wet. Perfect, look at that, right on the fold. It doesn't even hit it, okay? So it's perfect. 
probably should bring that up. Beautiful, beautiful things. Right on the fold, look at that, perfect. Okay. Love, love, love. This needs a swerve in it, I think. It's too square for me right there. So let's cut that off. Dull scissors. This goes down. The lantern's not going down. Sorry, I keep <laughs> laying out to see if you can see in my note. My chair's making all kinds of noises. Okay, right, let's let's do three. Oh, that's backwards. These are die cuts too. I forgot to get them out, but those are die cuts, okay? So we're gonna do three. 33. Because I like the number three, because I have three kids. I've always liked the number three. I don't know why. Is it lined up? Yes. I really don't care if the ends are going down just so the middle is. Then. I'm gonna have to find a gem. No. So let's do that. And I can't put this on it. So let's look. There are gems. I think this one matches the best. Because there's brown in there. Well, more dark green, but. Ties in with this too. Our card. Our pocket file. Our card. Our pocket file. So I think I'm gonna use that one right here. Nice and shiny. I'm gonna let that sit a minute because if I put that on there right now before it gets tacky, it's gonna smear all over my clock. And I don't want it to. So when all this is dry, I will be back to show you the pockets and how they look with something in them. Okay, beautiful beings. Hey, beautiful beings. There's a the finished product. This one can fit probably four. It'll fit a lot, okay? And then you can put a little one behind the cup, big one behind the cup, and of course this one will fit big ones, okay? Love that curtain pocket. Please leave a comment and <laughs> tell me what you think. I wish people left more comments, but they don't seem to. They don't seem to be means. So would you please leave a comment? I know the kids can't. The kids can't. I would really appreciate it. Because I'd like to know what you think too. <laughs> it's a huge curtain, huh? But I think it looks awesome. It's like we got our own little kitchen going on in here. <laughs> Alright, beautiful beings. Have a wonderful everything. <laughs>